What's up guys, Jesse here. So a couple of weeks ago, I came out with a video on all the tech that was involved in my ultimate hybrid Mac slash PC setup. And if you haven't seen that video already, you should go and do that. But if you have seen it, you may have noticed that I've done some changes here and there behind me, and I will be coming out with a video on all those changes very soon. So make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss it. But one question that kept on coming up though was how did you get the Mac and the PC on the same screen at the same time? And that's kind of my fault. I probably should have been a little bit more clear about that. But today in this video, I'm going to make it right by telling you guys exactly how I got both the Mac and the PC on one screen with one keyboard and mouse controlling both of them. Before we get into it though, I just want to put it out there that this is by no means the only way to get this done. It's just kind of the lowest tech, easiest and cleanest way that I found to get this done that works for my use case. And hopefully by the end of this video, you'll be able to implement some of this stuff into your setup. So to get this done, you will need two display cables, HDMI, display port, or whatever your monitor uses, a female to two male audio splitter cable, a Thunderbolt dock. This is completely optional optional, but I think it just makes the whole setup way easier if you're doing this with a laptop that you're going to be removing and replacing a lot. And then obviously the two computers, monitor, keyboard, and mouse. For the monitor, I think having an ultra wide like the one I have here is ideal just so you can display both systems at the same time beside each other, but it's not necessary. Also for all that other stuff, I'll make sure to link it down below in the description, but don't feel like you have to go use that stuff specifically. So once you have everything you need, the first step is to take your display cables and plug them into two different inputs on your monitor and then plug the other two ends into your two different machines. I used a DisplayPort cable and an HDMI cable, but your monitor may vary, so make sure the cables that you have are compatible with your monitor and your computers. Also on the MacBook side, all the cables from here on out will go into the Thunderbolt dock and not the MacBook itself, that way, when I have to take the MacBook to work with me, all I have to do is unplug one cable and then vice versa when I get back. So the next step is to take your audio splitter and then plug one of the male heads into each of your systems and then take the male head of your speakers into the female head of the splitter. This will allow for the audio from both computers to play simultaneously without really them interfering with each other. Really useful for if you like to play games on one computer and then watch a video on the other, you can still hear the sound effects from the game while you're listening to the video. And it works really well for the most part. The only issue I found though was that the gain or volume of your speaker will pretty much be cut in half. Uh, for my speakers here, I still found it to be more than enough for what I use it for, but your mileage may vary. And as far as like physical hooking stuff up goes, that's pretty much it. This monitor that I have is the 49 inch ultra wide from LG and it's pretty much the equivalent of having two 27 inch regular wide monitors side by side. And it has software built in that basically lets you split the monitor into two halves and then have those two halves act as two separate monitors with each one displaying a different input. Don't feel like you'll need to buy this monitor specifically though because pretty much any ultra wide monitor out there will have this functionality built in. But even if you don't have an ultra wide, you can still get a similar effect by just switching inputs instead of being able to see both of them at the same time. So that was super simple, but I think the slightly more complicated part of this is getting one set of keyboard and mouse to work with both computers at the same time. The way that I did it before was I just bought a keyboard and mouse that were both wireless and could connect to multiple devices and switch between them with the press of a button. And it worked fine, but after posting the video, you guys let me know that there is a much better way through a program called Synergy. From my understanding, there are other softwares that do similar things, but Synergy seems to be the most popular. It is a paid app, it's $29, and I'll link it below in the description. This is not a sponsored video, but I do think that this is worth it if uh, this type of setup is what you're trying to go for. And basically what Synergy does is it connects both computers through Wi-Fi, and then when you move your cursor from one screen over to the other, it automatically transfers both the mouse and keyboard inputs over to the other machine. So it basically makes the two computers truly feel like they're one. Pretty cool, right? Let me show you how it works. All right, so we're at the computer now, and the first step is, of course, to buy and then download Synergy on both computers. And don't worry, you're not gonna have to buy it twice. You just buy it one time, and then it's credited to your account, and then you just log on onto the other computer. And once that's done, go ahead and open Synergy on both computers, and now we have to decide which one we want to be the server and which one we want to be the client. And I know it sounds kind of complicated, but all it means is that the server computer is the one that you want to connect your keyboard and mouse to. So in my 
my case, I want the server computer to be the PC, so I will connect my keyboard and mouse to the PC. And by the way, you don't need to have a wireless keyboard and mouse for this to work. If they're wired, then just go ahead and plug it into the server computer. So whichever computer you decide is the server, go ahead and click this box up here and then hit configure server. And then you'll be shown this grid. And basically each of these boxes kind of represents an area that the client can be in. So in my case, the MacBook, AKA the client, is to the right of the PC. So I'll go up here and drag one of these icons to the right of the PC icon. And then as you can see, it comes out as unnamed. So I'm gonna wanna double click that and then go up here to the screen name and change it to something that the program will actually recognize. And I can find what it's supposed to be by going to the client PC or computer. And then right here under client name, you can see what it's supposed to be. And then you wanna enter it in exactly as you see it here. So let's go back to the server and then rename it to what it's supposed to be. So in my case, it's Jesse's dash Mac book dash pro dot local. All right, so once you have that done, go ahead and click OK and then OK. Also, if you're planning on using the MacBook open like I am for an extra screen, make sure you don't put two screens on there for the MacBook. This is strictly for the number of computers and not the number of screens. So after you've done all that, go ahead and hop on the client computer and then make sure this client box is checked over here and then enter in the IP address of the server, which can be found on the server computer at the top of the Synergy window. And with that, everything should be good to go and all we need to do is hit start on both computers and then you should get a message that says Synergy is now connected. You can close the config window and Synergy will remain and connected in the background. Super simple and easy way to control two computers with one set of keyboard and mouse. And with that, that's pretty much everything I have to tell you guys on how I made this setup possible and everything that made it happen. And hopefully now that you've watched the whole video, you can implement some of this stuff into your own setup. Let me know how it goes in the comment section down below. Remember to smash that like button, and if you enjoy content like this, think about subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace!